Hi, welcome. My name is Nancy, and today I will show you how to cut back the lilies and also how I add full flowers to cover them. My date lilies are turning brown, and to be honest, I just don't like how they look right now. So it's time to cut them back to make room for pretty plants, right? So in this garden, I have three date lilies. So there's one, two, and then there's the third one here. So we will start here with this daylily. Using my pruners, I'm going to cut back right at the base. Another reason I cut back is also to keep the plants looking tidy and healthy. I know some people might say, Nancy, why don't you wait until they die back in late fall or winter? I think it's a personal preference. Plus, here in Minnesota, Sun Fall, we get a short garden season and winter sometimes comes early like happened years ago i think in 1992 where we got snow in halloween so i can't really rely on the weather so the bottom line our fall season is very short so i gotta get things ready before winter comes to proceed to cut back the two remaining dailies. Now let me just show you how they look after everything is cut back. So this is the first one. There's the second one here. And there's the third one. Next I'm going to show you the full uh, flowers that I added. Look at the difference you guys. So I added a kale is on the left a cabbage on the right side there's a mom in the middle well there's two in the middle <laughs> so there's two lantanas one on each side those ones I moved from the other side of the garden and I wanted to add a mom cover the daylily so this is what I came up with what do you think for these two other lilies I just added some uh, mulch around them This is a week later, so I moved the container that I had in the front to the back behind the second day lily, and I added a new mom container in the front. Well, I hope you found this video interesting. Uh, thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.